All right, question 23. The first five terms in a pattern are shown below. Negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0.5. If this pattern continues, which expression can be used to find the nth term? Now, when you guys studied um, series, you guys talked about how there are two really important things you needed to have. You needed to figure out what the beginning beginning value was and we call that the zeroth term and this is very very similar to your winer set and you had to figure out the uh, constant difference um, and this is just how do we go from one value to the next <coughs> and this is essentially your slope so if you look at all your answer choices they're all written in y equals m x plus b. You just don't see a y equals. You have a m x plus b, m x plus b, m x plus b, m x plus b. So really, we're trying to find the y-intercept and the slope in this problem. So these are the first five terms. One, two, three, four, five terms. So I'm going to label them one, two, three, four, five. We have to go back and find out what the zeroth term is because that's the beginning. So let's write down what we know. Zero point, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.25, 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5. Okay. This is what we know so far. And Usually, what's going to be easiest is for us to first look at what the constant difference is. Then we can just work our way backward to find the zeroth term. All right, so if I'm looking at this, I'm asking myself, how do I go from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, from 4 to 5? Again, the difference should be the same everywhere. So I'm going to be more comfortable with the positive numbers here. So I'm going to look at how do I go from 0 to 0.25 to, point, to 0.5. So right here, if I'm going from 0 to 0.25, I had to add 0.25. So I think if I add 0.25 plus 0.25, I would get 0.5. So let's check. 0 plus 0.25 gives me the 0.25. Plus 0.25 gives me the 0.5. Let's go backwards. Let's subtract 0.25. Yep, now I'm at the fourth term. Subtract 0.25. Now I'm at the zero term, sorry, the third term, minus 0.25. Now I'm at negative 0.25, minus 0.25. Now I'm at negative 0.5. And one more, minus 0.25, negative 0.75. So my zero term is negative, point, negative 0 0.75. So my zero term, the beginning term, is negative 0 0.75 and my constant difference on my slope um, we said that we were always changing by 0 0.25 I'm always increasing by 0 0.25 all right so if I know my slope and I know my y-intercept I can take that information plug it into my equation so the slope is always next to my x, so 0 0.25x, and then my y-intercept is a negative 0 0.75, so minus 0 0.75. So I should be looking for something similar to this right here. A, nope, B, nope, C, yes. That's the right answer.